Hi, it's Neva at TimeForInvesting.com and this week I want to talk to you about the importance of following up. And what I mean by that is contacting the same seller more than once. And the reason why you need to do this is, in my experience, I would say about about 80% of all my real estate transactions are through following up. So that means that only 20% actually accept my first offer. So it's very important that you follow up with sellers because things change and later on, it could be a year later, they'll accept your offer. So you don't want to miss out on that opportunity. But what I really want to stress too is when you follow up, I'm going to share a little secret with you because you guys are my best online friends, is that you need to have variety when you follow up. Don't do the exact same thing over and over. Don't just call them every month. Don't just mail them a postcard. You know, mix it up and do something different. So I'll tell you what I do. Um, I'll call, maybe I'll call, um, the most I will call is like once a quarter and all I say is my name and I just say hi it's Neva, we spoke previously about you selling your property, I'm just calling to see if anything has changed and then it just goes conversational from there. Um, the next thing I do is I send a postcard. Now there's two different things I do with postcards. I send a direct postcard, which is like a postcard that has, I thought I took one out so I could show it. But yeah, it's like a postcard. This postcard, when I send it, it has their exact name and address on it. But then what I'll do sometimes, I'm just focused on an area. I'll send a every door direct mail postcard. And this one does not have their name on it. And what I find is when I send one of these and then one of these, people take this card as, oh, okay, she was just marketing in the area. So sometimes they call me when they get this one and they say, oh, I see your marketing, you're still interested. And then we start talking price again. So you just kind of want to start the conversation again. Another thing I do is like around like this one is a holiday card. And what I did, this is someone like, you know, we're like really close and I really feel like, you know, we're not that, you know, we're only like maybe a couple thousand miles away from each other. I'm still following up. So I sent a holiday card, just a regular holiday card that I got from Vistaprint. And then what I did, I just put P.S. Feel free to give me a call if you are still looking to sell your property. And then I left my phone number. Okay, so it's just a regular holiday card. And I do that. And then the other thing I do is, and don't pay for this one. This is actually like a pamphlet that I created on Vistaprint. And what happens is on Vistaprint when you sign on, um, you get an account, they'll send you sales. So this I actually just got for free. They were just, you know, one month if you order postcards, you got like pamphlets for free. And what I do is when I'm passing like that house I'm interested in, I just slide this like in the door or, you know, whatever address I'm interested in, I just slide it in the door. So that's what I'm saying. It's not something to pay for, but it's just another way that my name, you know, is just to keep me relevant if they do change their mind or sometimes people will call and they'll refer me to someone else. And so, you know, either way, it's a win-win. So those are my tips for you. I just want to tell you to follow up. You should definitely follow up at least once every three months is what I've found is really good. Um, and those are my tips for you. And continue to subscribe to my channel. Every week I'll do a video. So see you next week. Bye-bye.